Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we are talking about the update that's coming in soon, the wipe that's happening this week, custom servers, maybe some more info, horses, and the Rust Console Edition two-year event and what's going on there. I am a Jade Monkey and we are talking about Rust Console Edition for the PlayStation 4, the Xbox One, next generations, and everything in between. Okay, so we have a whole list of things here. Let me go ahead and hit this one first where it says custom servers. This is over on Twitter. So I know we already have a custom server video out there. If you didn't know, this is the most recent information that we have so far. I'll go ahead and link this bad boy now in the upper right hand corner. Doodloop, if you want to go check that bad boy out. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Um, there's just a little hint that was over there on Twitter, and I wanted to go over it. So they were talking about the Rust Console Edition anniversary event, and somebody asked, Rust Console Edition, uh, let's see, I know you guys can't see this, sorry, it's my janky setup, I'll have it fixed soon. It says, hopefully uh, with you all adding custom, uh, with you all adding community servers soon, said Zal, and then uh, Rust Console Edition says, we're working on them, we should have a blog with a bit more information on it soon. Good. So I, I want to be on a positive tip on this, but also think about this for a second. Um, I hope they say something because literally they set the expectation when this game came out two years ago, right? Don't get me wrong. I love the fact that they're communicating more now. That's fantastic. Please, please keep it up. But here's what I'm saying. If there's going to be a delay, I hope they address it directly. Or if it's coming soon, I hope they give us like a ballpark, right? Because if they, I, I think if they know, and I don't know, I'm speculating here, but if they know it's going to be stalled out, they need to tell the community, right? Because they set the expectation two years ago on this, and we need some like solid information, right? Like we're just going off of like what they've been showing us so far, and it's like, okay, so it's like coming soon, and it's like, you know what I mean? So like, I, I hope that blog post is about to be like, hey, if it's bad information, I hope they just tell us. So we're not just sitting here like waiting and setting these expectations and just having them broken like all the time, left and right. You know what I mean? Like, not to be like on the negative side, but I'm just like, hey, we're we're grown up enough, right? Like we can handle the information if it's bad. Just tell the community if that's the case. So I'm assuming that it's going to be good, but just on the off chance that it's not. I mean, we have been waiting two years. Um, what is it on the 25th is going to be the two year anniversary. So it's like, hey, man. Can you hook us up maybe a little bit? Let us know what's going on. Give us like a ballpark. That'd be great to know. Anyways, uh, so custom servers. Um, hopefully that's good news. We'll, uh, as soon as we find anything out, we'll be sure to let you guys know. If you didn't know, um, the uh, cultivator update's coming in with the terrain update, which looks beautiful. If you haven't had a chance to check that out, I'd strongly recommend. It's over on PTP. You can download that and check it out now. Um, uh, so after that, when this all clears and hits main branch, the next big update is going to be horses. Yes, rideable horses are first mode of ground transportation ever, and it's going to be fantastic. But with the cultivator update, we still already have... Um, fertilizer that we can make in the composter. These actually spawn on the board already now. So you don't really have to worry about having a horse. You can just pick them up and put them in there. You can also put random other organic materials in here to make fertilizer. And yes, you can sell them at the bandit camp for scrap. So it's already in the game now with Cultivator, and it's just going to get even better with the horses. So if you didn't know, that's going to be the next big thing hitting the PTB later. Um, and also the uh, the event, the RCE event, hopefully we hear the good news about custom servers. Um, but I heard also over on Twitter, they were talking about, hey, are we going to have a little sneak peek? It looks like we're going to have like the two-year cake that's coming in there. But also, I think we're going to get free skins like we did the year prior. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so I think that's all the stuff we have for like updates and whatnot. We're still waiting for uh, ban information that's going to be happening. But let's go ahead and get the wipe so this video isn't terribly long. Okay, so good news here. Uh, by the way, if you're using Zen or any kind of mouse and keyboard adapter, I would strongly suggest that you don't because um, when they decide to turn that on with the new technology, you're going to get banned. So, you know, there it is. All right, so monthly main branch, Thursday, May 18th. That's coming up this week 2023 there is what's called a no wipe scenario that means you keep the blueprints and you keep the map but and this is for main branch on the 25th the following week there will be a full wipe which means everybody starts at ground zero again finally and so that also ushers in that new update the cultivator the t update as well so that's really good news. I know a lot of people have been waiting for the monthlies to wipe. They technically should be wiping every month, hard wiping. That's how it is over on PC, but for some reason, 
over on console. We don't do that, but hey, when custom servers do come in, we'll have the ability to do that on our own. Now, won't we? All right, so the last piece here, we have weekly main branch, Thursday, May 18th, 2023. We have a soft wipe. It's the last soft wipe until the update. And what that means is you keep the blueprints and the map wipes, so you'll lose everything, but you keep the knowledge. And again, that will come back online at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 11.30 a.m. PST and 7.30 p.m. BST. And that's if I have the daylight savings time and stuff correct. Just know the servers go down. So let's say you're in Eastern Standard Time. It will go down at 2 p.m. And it takes 30 minutes for it to come back online. So just, just be aware around those times, that's when the servers are going to wipe. And then the next one for uh, weekly main branch is going to be the hard wipe. So big update, big hard wipe across the board. So it's very, very exciting. Again, that's also going to usher in the farming update. The Rust Farm Setup video, I'll go ahead and link that bad boy now if you're trying